on guys, Jeff back with another video review. Um, today we're going to be doing another figure in the G.I. Joe Collector Club's uh, 30 Years of Adventure line. And that would be the Sea Adventure figure. Um, this is the third figure that I got from the club commemorating the 30 Years of Adventure. Um, I'm a big fan of the Sea Adventure. It was actually the first G.I. Joe Adventure Team figure that I got way back in, I think, 1982. My mom uh, went to a garage sale uh, in my town, and she got me a Sea Adventure, a uh, red hardhead G.I. Joe, along with a bunch of gear, uh, one of those things being an orange scuba suit. And I played with that thing for probably two or three years until it finally rotted out. But the Sea Adventure is probably my favorite G.I. Joe figure, and... Um, this was a must-have for me, and uh, ironically, it was the first uh, figure I got when I came back to the G.I. Joe Collector Club. So we're going to pause the video, we're going to take him back to the shop and do a nice thorough review of him, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so here he is. This is the uh, G.I. Joe Collector Club Sea Adventure figure commemorating the 30 years of adventure. If you've seen my uh, post on the Land Adventure figure and the Air Adventure figures, same deal. The box is a really nice quality box, uh, made uh, really well, a lot better than the 40th anniversary boxes, in my opinion, or the uh, Walmart G.I. Joe Adventure Team figures. As with all the other Collector Club boxes, it uh, showcases previous sets for the Collector Club. You'll see here that it has the uh, Talking Commander, which came out around the same time. I'll cover him at a later date. On the other side, again, convention boxes and the talking astronaut. Now, I want to point out that I don't own this talking astronaut. I thought about getting it at some point when the club had it, but I just never did. So this is one of the few club figures I don't own. Um, the figure itself will open the box and get all the stuff out. Now... Of course, it comes with the uh, pamphlet that uh, gives kind of the history of the G.I. Joe Adventure Team. Um, it's a nice addition, a nice explanation. Of course, on the back, if you see my Land Adventure video, I go through all this. So this is really standard with these figures. Uh, boot removal instructions as well. And also, it comes with a nice um, pin. I'll try to... Get a close-up of it. It's the uh, diver on a sea sled, and it comes with an extra Adventure Team decal. Um, let me put these back in here, and I'll say something pretty quick about the pin. If you saw my Air Adventure video, then you know I mentioned that there was no pin with that figure. Uh, I bought it on the secondary market. And I'm pretty sure it did have a pin with it. I've never researched it enough to find out. But here's the figure himself. Uh, the flocking on it, I will say, is not as bad as what I remember. Um, it's better than the, the Adventure Team Air Adventure figure I have. Um, it's not too bad. The color's pretty good. Um, on these Master uh, Piece Edition bulky heads it looks okay it's, it's about as good maybe a step below the land adventure in my opinion he comes again with the uh, metal 30 years of adventure dog tag which is standard on these a reproduction holster nice decal reproduction revolver and uh, boots dungarees and the uh, light blue navy shirt which is indicative of the sea adventure figure um few things of note, the clothing on this one is very well done. Uh, it and the Land Adventure, in my opinion, have the nicest reproduction clothing. This is just a nice, uh, nicely tailored, nicely made piece. The boots are nice as well. Um, the figure himself, again, like the others, is a masterpiece edition figure, I believe, or a timeless collection figure. Um, it's a good figure. The Sea Adventure, again, as I said earlier, is one of my favorite figures. 
so this was a must have for my collection. It's what brought me back into the collector club was to buy this figure. And it's a, just a nice reproduction. And I'm, I'm excited to have it in my collection. Just for reference, we'll put him next to um, my vintage G.I. Joe Sea Adventure. You can see some differences, obviously, in the head, a little, the height, um, the flocking, whatnot. My, my vintage Sea Adventure is almost all mint. Um, he has a nice flocking. And this is one of the few figures that I have that I never had to reflock. Um, the similarities probably stop around there other than just a few common things. But I would say if I was going to rank the air adventure, the land adventure, and the sea adventure, the sea adventure would be number two to my land adventure and the air adventure number three. You've seen the video for it. You know I have a few problems with that. Um, but all in all, if I was going to rate this figure, I'd give it probably a seven, seven and a half out of ten. It's just a nice reproduction of the uh, Sea Adventure. Way, way, way better than the Walmart um, version of the Kung Fu Grip Sea Adventure. Um, I get it. There's some guys out there that really like that figure and would probably tell me that they, they've enjoyed having those in their collection. I have a few in my collection. I've reflocked a few. Um, and then I have one that's the original uh, terrible bright orange flocky. But <clears throat> we're not talking about those guys. I'm talking about this here. So this is the G.I. Joe Collector Club Sea Adventure figure. Commemorating the 30 years of, anivers or, uh, of Adventure Team. Um, like and subscribe to the videos, guys. Follow me on Instagram at skunkworks. Please share these videos. I always appreciate the feedback and the comments. Um, tell me what other videos you'd like to see. I'm trying to, to create more and more content as I find time. So I just really enjoy doing these and I enjoy you guys. So hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, and cheers.